Hello, welcome back. Today we are going to be working on a collaboration project. So I'm going to be working with a local shoe store here called Baggin Shoes. Um, they do like lots of custom printing on shoes, so they have their own print shop and my friend works there. So I'm going to be able to finish my design and go to the print shop and test out the printing and see how the colors are working, if I'm happy with it, which is pretty rare. Normally, you know, you just have to like wait for it to come in the, in the mail and hope that it looks good. So it's pretty cool. I thought that it would be um, a fun thing to be able to include into this video. And um, yeah, that was the cool part. <laughs> Um, so, so there isn't a brief with this, which makes it a little bit difficult, um, to kind of know where to begin. I'm gonna just work with the fact that it's July right now, it's the summer, um, and just like try and find inspiration from that. I'm kind of thinking that I might like go with a sort of market um, like local farmers market or like flower arrangement sort of design. Um, there's a local flower farm is maybe what they're called here. And yesterday they posted a reel with all these beautiful flower arrangements. And I just think like those kind of shapes and like colors would be pretty cool. So that's what I'm starting with. So this is my sketch pad, um, it's the Rodeer dot pad, it's what I do all my like really rough sketches in. It's mainly like just lots of note taking as well, um, and you can see it's just like so so messy. I don't try and, I'm not trying to be like neat in this sketchbook, I'm just trying to jot down like all the ideas in my head and I like to take just like lots of notes. Um, so we'll start a fresh page there. I also have my notebook because when I first got the project, I like not dotted down um, some ideas. So I'm just gonna like remember what they are, maybe use them, I might not now because it was a couple of weeks ago. If I can find that page, just show. Okay, so we have that. And then I also, I have my Nina Cosford um sketchbook because this is like what i use to do like actual like when i'm spending time actually doing my sketches and i've done some like um still lifes recently that i've really enjoyed i really like how these flowers look um so i think maybe i mean that dog's pretty cute maybe i'll do like i'll combine some of these um, so I just thought I'd bring that in for reference. And then also, cause I was thinking of doing flowers, I have this book um, that's like a, like a little old houseplant referencing book. And it has some really cool photos of plants, which I think would be like a good reference if I do decide to like go that route. So that's what I'm gonna start with.
I just spent some time quickly drawing some more like mock-ups compositions of the tote bag I thought I just filmed it but I forgot to press play so there we go um I'm really liking this kind of composition where it's someone's someone's walking and they're um they like fit the whole body of the tote bag this one I like kind of holding like market produce and flowers like an abundance of things um straight on I like the idea that the tote bag, like the image wraps around to the other side of the tote bag. This one's like a person walking with a dog. This one is like a flower arrangement, maybe like some of the flowers go around to the other side. So I kind of want to see if that's possible. I'm not sure if it is. One other thing it could be because it is like a shoe store is if I make it like they sell lots of Converse and Doc Martens, so maybe I'll just like make it focused on the shoe. Um, but that's not necessarily something I have to do, I'm not really sure. I'm also wondering if I should add text on there, like it says bag and shoes. Maybe it could just be like at the bottom. And then the person above, as you can see. Or maybe it'd be cute if I do a vintage tin, if like Baggins is in the tin. I think that would be cute. Like make up a little vintage tin for them. So anyway, these are my ideas. I'm gonna work in my sketchbook now, just like draw them out a bit more properly and like try and visualize it a bit better. But first I'm gonna go get some lunch.
Okay, I'm gonna finish the day now. My head's a bit fried, it's the end of the week. Um, I sent those mock-ups to my friend. They're like really rough sketches. Normally I wouldn't send something so rough looking, but because I know her, <laughs> it's fine. Um, but yeah, I sent them to my friend. I'm gonna get her opinion because like I said, I just hit a bit of a brick wall and it'd be, yeah, it'd be good to get her opinion. She knows what sells there. And I've like played with these two ideas. I'm not really sure which one I wanna go ahead with. Um, so I'll see what she says. And then it's Friday, so it'll be the weekend. And I'll cut, so I'll get back to it on Monday. And then I'll add all the color and then I'll send it to her by the end of the day. Hopefully, I mean, I'm kind of pushing it, but I think it will be okay. Um, so I'll send it to her and then on Tuesday is when we'll do the test print. And then hopefully I'll take a tote bag then, I think. And then I'm hoping Wednesday I'll be able to photograph them. And then I think she's gonna put them on sale on Friday, but I'm actually going on holiday on Wednesday evening. So I've got to get it all done by by then. It's a good, um, a good, what's the word? Deadline to have. Um, so yeah, now I'm gonna go to my friends to watch Drag Race and we're gonna get some food and then a bunch of us are gonna go down to the beach to watch the sunset. So maybe I'll film that cause it'll probably be pretty nice. But yeah. Hello, I thought I would join you with a little voiceover. Um, it's Monday, I'm back in the studio. I got in a little late today um, because I forgot I had a haircut. So I was feeling a little bit stressed when I got in um, just because I knew I had a lot of work to do and I was really tired from that bike ride which I wasn't expecting and I was also feeling a little burnt out like I've been doing a lot of um, a lot of creating a lot of new art recently and um, yeah I was just feeling tired from that so when I got into the studio rather than just going to my iPad I wanted to sketch out some ideas again um, and develop what I already had a bit further. I decided over the weekend that I was going to go with the um, person walking the dog but I just wanted to think about um, more about like what would go on the tote bag with it, um, where they are, why they're walking, where they're walking, like what kind of day is it, is there like more nature around, um, and I just started drawing these trees that you can kind of see in the background next to the iPad and I was just really enjoying how how they looked, they kind of made me think of um, cutting out and collaging and I decided that I really wanted to emulate that effect on my iPad. I've done it a couple of times um, playing around before like on my iPad making it look like it's um, cut and pasted um, but I've never done it for client work so I was pretty excited to, to do that. So I did that by using the select tool on the Procreate app and I just like drew over my design 
and filled it in and it came up with this really imperfect choppy sort of lines and shapes and I really liked it and I decided as I was drawing it on my iPad that it might be sweet to have it as a little apple tree and the person's walking their dog and they're picking an apple from the tree one's fallen on the floor and I thought there would be kind of a few cute things I could add in like a bird um, later on I add in a little caterpillar and I also decided to add my name and the baggage name to show that it was a collab and also just to get my name out there um, tote bags can be like a good walking advertisement sometimes so so once I had mocked it up in colour and I was actually feeling really happy with this at, with it at this point, I still needed to figure out the composition a little bit, but I was ready to go in with um, colour. And I wanted to just go with a really minimal palette. I think that also goes with the style of collage, it's like really simple um, cut out pieces of coloured paper. And then at the end I also added in a little bit of texture in a brush that looked like paint strokes. I went with a yellow, green and red colour palette. Um, they're colours I've been using a lot recently and they're also my sort of my branding colours. But they're really summery and bright and I think they just fit with the design well. They're very happy colours. That's so cool. Yes, yes, but it... me too. I bought my iPad with me. Nice. Yeah, it's so easy. So I actually don't mind it. I love it. I like it. Hello, um, it's Wednesday. I'm just at my apartment. Yesterday I went to the print shop and tested out a print and for the tote bag it went really well. I was super happy with the colours straight away so that's great. I wasn't really expecting that to happen. Um, so yeah, I was really happy. Today I'm going to take some product shots of the tote bag. I've just been um, putting together some like finding some items in my apartment that I could like use as props. So this is my little collection of things that I'm gonna take with me. Um, I think I'm gonna go to a park. I was thinking the beach, but actually I think like a park would suit the theme of the tote bag more cause it's like a little person walking their dog. There's an apple tree. There is actually an apple orchard here that I could go to. Um, so I think I'm gonna buy some red apples from the store and then head to the park, check it out. If I don't really, if I don't like it there, I'll, I'll probably go to the beach. But I just picked out um, some like red things that can match the bag a bit, except for the cap, because I don't have a cap that is the right color. But yeah, we've got a picnic blanket, we've got 
some random I don't even know what this is, but it's just it looks cool. It's like a filofax thing. Um my camera I've got these cute little glasses. So maybe I'll buy like a red beverage to pull in that. Um and my sketchbook. I might like try and take some photos of me drawing with the tote bag. I don't know, maybe that doesn't really work, but I'll give it a go. So yeah, those are the things I'm taking. Okay, and then I'm also wearing something red if I do go in the shots as well. But I don't actually think that will happen. I don't have a tripod so with me, so it might just be, I probably won't be in it, but yeah. Let's go to the park. Okay, so that is the end of the video. If you made it this far, thank you so much. Um, I hope you enjoy just like seeing every step of the process to making this tote bag. I'm really happy with it in the end. I did have like a bit of a mental block in the middle and I was feeling like quite tired the entire time. Um, but now it's been like a week since it came out and I've been using it and I'm just like really happy with it. I think it's super cute. Um, it is now on the Baggins website. If you wanted to get one yourself, you can visit their site. I'll link it below. Um, and then if you're in Victoria, you can also visit their shop and buy one there. Um, again, thank you for watching this video. Actually, I do really want to say, because this is my second video on YouTube. Um, and I just want to say with the last one, like, to everyone who watched it and liked it and subscribed to it like thank you so so much i really i really didn't have high expectations and i'm just like over the moon with with like how it went and the the feedback i got and like all the comments were so nice and so encouraging um i had like over a thousand views which i just wasn't expecting i don't know maybe that isn't a lot but for me I thought I'd have like 20 subscribers and I thought they would all be my friends because in my mind they're kind of obligated to subscribe and yeah I'm just over the moon with the response from it so I hope you like this video just as much um it was like less vlog, vlog style more like process but I had a lot of fun filming it so and putting it together so um Hopefully you can see that. And yeah, if you haven't already, like it or subscribe. Um, and just say, so yeah, and thank you for being here.